Today I'm turning these three vases into stone looking aged slash wasabi style pots and I'm doing it using ingredients you probably already have in your home. I'm Man by the way, thank you so much for stopping by, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we can start right away. So first, let's see what we're working with. I thrifted these three vases forever ago and I wanted to try and turn them into ceramic slash stone looking aged vases. I have a few techniques in mind for what we can do with them, so today we're trying all of them. Oh, and yeah, this one fell down the other day and cracked a bit, but I think we can cover it up and make it work. But first, let's clean them up. We are starting off with the first vase by mixing the color. For all of the projects, I'm using white acrylic paint as a base and I'm adding in liquid pigments to make the perfect shade of beige. Oh, and all of the products will be linked into the description box. Once I was satisfied with the color, I then proceeded with adding our secret ingredient and that is baking soda. I added 3 full tablespoons of baking soda in my acrylic paint. The baking soda is supposed to give the best texture to our vases. Oh, and by the way, the acrylic paint is the one that's used for painting walls. After mixing it nicely, it's now time to start applying it to the vase. And for the first coat, you just want to make sure that everything is covered. The first coat won't look the best, but no worries, the second one will make a nice finish. Once you cover everything, just leave it to dry completely or for at least two hours. And please, please don't rush this process. Now when my vase is all dried out, 
it's now time for the second coat. The second coat should be just enough to cover up everything. And you can already see this beautiful texture just building up and it starts to come together. This one's a bit harder to apply since the surface is already textured from the first coat, but I found that going in with axis helps a lot. And now are you ready to see how it turned out? Now for the second project, we are again going in with the same paint soda mixture, but we're adding a little twist at the end. Also for this one, I went in with a slightly darker shade. Once the first coat is applied, we are again leaving it to dry for at least two hours before going in for the second coat. Now, once you cover everything, it's now time for our secret ingredient, and that is dirt. Yup, just good old dirt. I just picked up some dirt from an old plant pot and I'm just adding it to a bowl. The idea is to apply the dirt onto our vase while the paint from the second coat is still wet. This way it can absorb it and get this old aged look. So I just went on sprinkling some dirt and tapping it out with my fingers until I got the desired look. You can also go in with a brush as you'll see me doing in just a second. And now let's see how the vase turned out.
And for the final project, I'm also starting with the acrylic paint and baking soda as a base, but I'm also adding ground coffee to add on to the texture. And now it's time for the second coat. As you can see, since the paint was sitting with the coffee grounds, it got a darker shade, which I absolutely loved. Once I finished applying the second coat, I immediately started sprinkling some coffee on the vase. And once again, I applied it, then tapped in with my fingers. Let me just note that for this one, I'm using French press coffee, but you can absolutely go for whatever ground coffee you have at home. And now let's see how our last project turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one was your favorite by leaving me a comment in the comment section below. Mine was definitely the second one with the dirt. I think it came out the best. Oh, and make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. And I'll see you designers next week. Bye!